Hello observers, very quickly for anyone new here, magneticreversal.org is the best way to get your mind around the facts surrounding Earth's magnetic reversal, sometimes called magnetic pole flip. There are links to direct sources if you like that, video learning if you prefer to listen and watch. But right here, we are looking at part of the Sapphire 2018 update presented by Dr. Michael Claridge at Observing the Frontier 2018. He's already agreed to come back in 2019. This video will come later as well to serve as the laboratory reproduction of the hypothesis hypothesis stated beforehand. Now, actually. We come to the recent space weather news out of South America, the emergence of a genuinely robust geomagnetic monitoring network, and the first scientific results from it. The biggest breakthrough, apart from a regional space weather monitoring capability, is their discovery of a fourth layer in the ionosphere, F4. This is huge because the F3 layer is still considered far less understood than the F2 and F1 layers below, and it was thought to be the highest up. The discovery of F4 puts a new perspective to the ionic shells of Earth, and now in regards to how this discovery came about, we presented three options when the story was first released. Either they had some new technology that allowed them to see the F4 layer, Either the F4 layer was already there and just weak, now enhanced due to Earth's weakening magnetic field allowing more energy to come in, or that the F4 layer is new and was created by the recent increase in radiation due to Earth's weakening magnetic field. In earnest, 2 and 3 are both indicative of the same action and what we're really concerned with, the magnetic field of Earth. Here's how we put it in the evening report earlier this week. Take the two Van Allen belts known about for decades. I mean, make that three. Just discovered this half decade. During strong solar storms, we get a third belt blinking into view, and if strong enough of a solar storm, it can persist for weeks. It takes the extra energy on those short time scales to get it, however. And that could be what's happening here on the long term with the ionosphere. So hopefully, nobody thought I'd leave the question open-ended. As implied, it is indeed likely to be a signal of either two or three, and it really doesn't matter because they indicate the same thing, more energy from space. Let's remember that without Earth's intrinsic field, its own created magnetosphere, the induced field at the ionosphere would intensify. Nowhere near the level of protection lost from the field, it's simply one of the energizing elements of the planet. As we are reminded of the most recent confirmation that the ionosphere controls surface weather, meaning that the sun does, let's remember that this is what will get juiced up as the field weakens, and this is what we're talking about with the F layers down through E and D. Also, don't forget the well-established lithosphere-atmosphere-ionosphere circuit relevant to earthquakes. We're hooking up a stronger power source there, too. You know, the F3 layer, as I said, is still being understood. Decades after F1 and F2 were well diagnosed, we're still puzzled by many of the patterns in F3. Some are less puzzling, however, like the post-noon appearance of F3, hinting towards the energetic day-side influence over its appearance, which helped confirm a previous study in magnetic connections to the sun controlling the F3 layer. Just a different way to get the energy. IMF is interplanetary magnetic field, by the way. That's another name for those planetary connections between Earth and Sun. What is critical about the recent work is it compiles detections from the last half decade, and with basically the same technology as everyone else. So, either it has just happened, either in the last few years, this F4 layer has either been energized or created by that radiation, or... Their position in South America, near the South Atlantic anomaly, allows the F4 layer to appear there first. Either way, once again, we're looking at something new. It's not as though the South Atlantic anomaly isn't well studied. In fact, it's the opposite. Had it been there before, chances are we'd have seen it. I want to leave you with Dr. Claridge's Sapphire video again, increasing energy flow to the sphere throughout. And we'll run it through twice so you can get the last piece of evidence supporting the hypothesis that the F4 detection is a direct sign of the increased radiation due to Earth's weakening magnetic field. In light of the crater experiments reporting higher than expected increases in that cosmic radiation, we needed to begin to see signs in the ionosphere. Here we go. Increase in energy, Increase in layers and layer energy. It's not only mainstream science, it's electric universe, one of the places they come together. But best of all, you can see it with your own two eyes as being a real effect of that increase in energy. Be safe, everyone.